There we go. This gives me a quick shot at the base there. Are those like waterfalls? I mean, there aren't really any waterfalls in the game. So the disadvantage is they get the air airports right away. And look at all the stuff they already have. And I've got, like, nothing. Dual falls? Uh, maybe that's a reference to water falls, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at this chat. <laughs> I feel like it's one of those spam ones. Infantry, but what I really need here is I need at least one tank. So you've got a tank and oh wait, that's a recon actually. Two recons, anti-air. They do have a copter that they could bring out, so that's that does raise a challenge. So I probably actually want to build an anti-air instead. Did I just turn off the volume? Oops. Let me turn the vo uh, volume back on, because I didn't mean to do that. Because that's weird. It's not that bad. It's a silent war now. Music back on. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, how do I want to handle this situation? fight against these recons and I whatnot, but the goal right now is to have things I can counter uh the the helicopters. So the big thing about getting a good score is you gotta join units that are injured or heal them in some fashion so that they don't get eliminated. If they get wiped out, um, there goes your points. So this is a... This sucks. Because now I'm not gonna be able to capture at all. It's actually... Not a great position. I think I need to retreat those infantry, unfortunately. A bunch of my infantry down here have been hurt. Which again probably means I need to join at least two of them. You have another tank coming, which basically means that I should build another tank. The anti air is probably not even going to be useful. I'm not going to be able to attack from that side, I think. Going after my lander because the game likes to attack transports. But I wonder if that means I can lure that helicopter over. Actually, that'd be interesting. What happens if I do this? And then keep my anti air in the vicinity. Did that work? I've never tried this. Gotta join more units again.
really kind of wish I defended the... Well, it'll be fine. Gonna move the infantry down. We've got one tank. There's one more tank up here, which would be interesting to try to attack from the side. And on the bottom, I... They do have another tank, so I should probably build another one. Yeah, I'll be interested in what the AI does with the battle copter up there. Whether or not the AI battle copter ends up attacking. Okay, so I was able to lure the battle copter over, but the problem is the lander is stuck. So I can't actually attack it. Unless the Battle copper gets killed. I can't actually attack it. Unless I use a missile or something. Prop being blue is taking over this area at the moment, and I need to find a way to get over there and, and take some of those cities, actually. Probably should have built a lander sooner than taking the middle, but oh well. I'm at least in a better position at the bottom now. Not necessarily a bad thing. Although they do have a medium tank.
Hey, good night. Thanks for watching. units. Honestly, this has been a little bit st more stalled than I remembered it being, but I think the AI, I don't know if the AI got better or, or I'm just struggling a little bit, but I was hoping to get a little bit further than I've gotten. It may just be that it was always this challenging. Because they do have a lot of units. I took my duck to San Francisco. Is that another one of those videos, Fuzz? Thank you, thank you. Rhino, I am not doing as well as I thought I would be doing on this. But don't get me wrong, I haven't lost a lot of units or anything. I've lost a single unit in 10 turns, but I kind of thought I'd be a little further right now. You may have gathered that by the fact that, like, of this whole situation up here. I built a lander that I can't use. Essentially. This medium tank is going to be a problem, too. Just sitting there. And this is Eagle, so Eagle's going to hit twice here with Lightning Drive. Although I kind of hope he does attack twice up top, so they can finally Ready take out the battle hopper. Lightning drive. Oh wow! I just lost. Oh, I almost lost two units there. This has been a little rough. Two hundred and ten percent. I don't think I've ever seen a percentage that high before. Two hundred and ten percent. The spell copter can actually do a lot of damage to medium tanks. What? I don't. I didn't remember it being that strong. Oh, I think I know why. Because lightning drive weakens defense. That's what happens. Because you get the two turns, but you have really weakened defense. Still, I'm not sure what to do, because I don't have a lot of units that can really attack right now. Because I was building up a medium- I was going to save up for a medium tank, and then it looks like I don't need to do that now. Because blue still has 20 properties to my 12, which... 
is probably me messing up up top. Should have gotten more um, units. I should have taken this section up there. So I probably need to go and... On the other hand, if I don't fight this area, I could just advance straight for the base. has 10 more properties than me. I may, I may actually have to reset this one and try it another time. Because I usually don't lose the middle when I'm fighting this. properties to 20. At least it's getting a little more even, if nothing else. I'm wondering if I'm able to take this out. Probably not. I'm gonna have to wipe out the medium tank on this turn. This is actually going to be an interesting tactic where I skip the medium from the middle and actually try to take control this way. Never try to do it this way. We'll see how it goes. it's interesting because there's like no anti-air here. Which actually puts him in a really interesting spot because I could just hit him with copters until he builds something to stop it. Which, I mean, he's trying to do right now. He 
built an anti-air, he built a battle copter. Again, novel approach. Don't know how this is going to go. You think I can still win this in a few turns? I guess we'll see. I'm stretched pretty thin right now in terms of... Because I, I am... I'm advancing on Eagle with fewer units. I have less resources. He has 15... Or I have 15 properties. He has 20. So for me to still be advancing at all is kind of crazy. <laughs> like, that's just better use of units. To be in a position. Oh yeah, I... Okay, that was my bad. My artillery... I got an artillery range there. I don't... Here's the thing, though. I don't know if I can... Like... For me to rush HQ, I need to have enough units to take HQ. He has he, he has his bases over there. So this is not looking like it's gonna happen. See? He just re he just rebuilt everything next to him, so. This was kind of a... It's kind of a crazy Roll attempt that I don't think is actually going to work. I don't have enough units to take HQ, so I'm probably going to have to attack up. Yeah, I don't think I don't have much of a chance here. Eagle's gonna hold for sure. Kind of hard to see any other scenario, to be honest. Well, it was worth a try, I guess. Trying to be a little creative, but this is even for me to take a base would be cool, I guess. But this won't this won't be a really this is not going to be a good score regardless, even if I do get it. Playing very creatively here. And 
never tried to play this way before. Definitely one of my craziest strategies that I've ever tried to use. My strategy right now is to take the base, so then I can just start building over there. Again, one of the craziest advanced war strategies I think I've ever tried. Maybe I'll actually be able to take the headquarters that way. Let's see. I'm gonna have to take out a medium tank at some point. But I'm still probably gonna build a normal tank here. Battle copter here. I'm actually kind of intrigued by what Eagle's trying to... Like, Eagle's not going to HQ capture doing that, so... Oh, Lightning Drive. Well, that could be a problem. Yeah, this may not work. Because Light... Because now he's at the base. I think he breaks the barrier and gets out here, maybe. The eagle soars above you. So I think what I'm I think the next time I play this I really need to get the middle. I think I need to go early lander and and get a presence over there. Hey, how's it going? I, I've seen you, um, I believe, comment on YouTube. This is not a good display of um, how to play this on War Room, though. I've not been playing this one particularly well. But Game Boy Wars 3 was far more than a graphical improvement. That's, that's definitely good to know. And I can certainly revise that accordingly. Normally on on um, Pivot Isle in previous games, I would take the middle, and I kind of botched the attempt on this one, but I figured I'd keep trying anyway. Usually in a war room situation, I'm not down in properties like this, I'm just deep in the game, but I think it does make it kind of interesting. The question is whether I want to abandon this attempt or not. At this point, I'm. Because at this point, I've already lost a lot of units. Technique is not going to be great. But I might as well see what happens, I suppose, at this rate. I just, there's no way to defend that position. There's just too many things that can attack.
Just gonna continue my ill-fated attempt. I'm doing this mostly because I'm stubborn. I don't know if this is gonna actually work. If I managed to actually pull this off, it'd be pretty crazy. So I got another tank and anti-aircraft and another battle copter over. Obviously they're gonna try to get me off of the... There's their... That's the other battle copter that's gonna... And there's The tank's gonna get through here. So did I just take some random city instead? It seemed a little too good to be true to even be in position. Because now they have a medium tank. Took this random city though, that's pretty funny. It's kind of funny I'm able to even have this fight at this guy's HQ. But I'm also at this point kind of curious to see how far I can take it. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to be copter uh, spam. I just don't have a, enough unit. I, I don't have enough resources. So Eagle is able to build more units than me every single turn in, on this in this fight. It's actually funny that I've gotten as far as the HQ as it is with less resources. I have a random city. <laughs> a random city. That medium tank is so unbeatable right now. I don't even have a good solution for it, really. That's no, that's that's where the HQ is. I just have no way of taking it.
now to figure out how to maneuver units. I definitely have enough units to do damage here, but no matter how. Yeah, I think so too. Which, you know, may, may be okay. I mean, it, it could be an okay strategy to just use battle copters. Positioning. How do I want to, how do I want to position units here? One of those situations where Eagle is kind of holding his HQ, but kind of not. Like, he's holding his HQ, but he's not holding it to the point where I can't chip away from right now. Seventeen? Huh. Interesting. Oh man. They have rebuilt. Well, they've moved units over to... at least. Taking two random cities. This is the weirdest fight I think I've had in this game.
I think I may actually be able to take um, the headquarters after sending a lot of reinforcements. Thanks. This, it's just funny because right now I still have fewer properties. Even now I have fewer properties. I had to wait for the reinforcements to arrive. This is not, again, this is not a quick run, and here's Lightning Drive, and the medium tank's gonna attack twice. Speed is the lifeblood of battle! On the other hand, um, if I if my battle copters, my battle copters can stay alive because lightning drive the second turn of the medium tank is going to be weaker. I can pos possibly beat it even without a bomber or something like that. Or the medium tank just moves out of the way and then I can just take the headquarters. Did that just happen? Well, okay. The mechs are in the way. That doesn't help, necessarily. Okay, another interesting battle here. Give up. Time to figure out how I'm gonna attack. All right, that's gonna take out the medium tank, finally. So, I think I won this. I don't know about my technique points or my speed points, but I'm gonna win this. Again, I have to reiterate, I still have fewer properties than blue. Less money every turn.
I guess I, uh, there's not really a point in moving all those units. Yeah, that's it. I don't think I can even do a whole lot more other than build more units to hopefully increase the technique points a little bit. Yeah, thanks, Rhino. I thought, I honestly thought Eagle was gonna hold too. I really believed that it was gonna happen. how much more damage I can do. I don't think there's a whole lot of more in the way of power points I really needed, but just in case. Just in case somehow this worked out for a good score, but I kind of doubt it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's still the same. I just figure, just in case there's anything that, you know, has any impact on that, I'm just doing this safely. Again, I doubt I got a 300 on this. Kinda funny that I actually got all this around it. I don't think I can build any more units. We'll see what the score is on this. I'm very interested in seeing this. That was actually better than I expected. That was such a slow run, I still got all my technique points. Two hundred and ninety-two.